Hey folks, Jang here from UltimateRC.com, and this is not an XTM XT2E. Say what? B but it kind of is. Let me explain. XTM isn't the OEM for their 8th scale buggies, and you can find them sold elsewhere in the world under the Great Vigor brand name, or GV. For instance, the XTM rail was originally sold as the GV Cage. Now this buggy right here is actually sold under the Power Racing Products, or PRP brand in the United States, and it's almost exactly the same thing as the XT2E with just a couple of small differences that I will point out. But note that this is not a clone, it actually comes from the same factory. Now first off, up front, the shocks, aluminum all the way around. On the XTM, they have threaded bodies, which is not going to change the performance. Also, the XTM uses C-hubs up front for just a little bit more rigidity, but that's, again, not going to change the performance because the geometry is the same. Now, those are small details, but all the big stuff is the same. You're looking at a traditional flat pan chassis for an 8th scale buggy. This one uses the 50-50 layout using two 2S batteries, one on each side, and then they have the differential off to one side slightly, the motor off to the other side. Now speaking of the motor, it's a 36 millimeter diameter can, but it's 74 millimeters long. So not very thick, but plenty long. And it comes with a 120 amp true eighth scale speed control that is capable of running censored motors, although this one is only sensor less. It's just like the Hobbywing XE run. A couple other really small differences between this and the X-T2E, the color of the wing, the style of the wheels, and the tires are a very slightly different tread pattern both have this very aggressive kind of basher sort of design. One thing design-wise that I don't like about these buggies is the motor mount. Like on the XTM rail, it only accepts 36 millimeter diameter motors because it's very low. You only get three fixed positions for motor mesh, so you can only use three different sizes of pinions for a given spur, and it uses all four screws to hold the motor in, which is great for strength, but two of those screws are hidden behind the spur, which means to change the pinion, you have to take out the whole center diff and the entire motor mount, although thank Thankfully it's a lot easier here than it was on the XTM rail. Now the PRP version of this buggy comes with a 2.4 GHz radio system, but it's very basic. It just has trims and dual rates. The XTM comes with this sweet, genuine Airtronics MX Sport 2.4 GHz system with 10 model memory, Expo EPA adjustable third channel with two position switch, a radio you can really hold on to for a long time and use on other RCs. When it comes to power, this thing has it. Even though that's a pretty small diameter motor, it's got plenty of juice and run on 4S. Out of the box, expect a top speed of around 40 miles per hour. Not too shabby, especially when you consider how quickly you can get up to that speed. But this isn't just a straight line machine here. It can jump. A lot. This is the out of the box setup. No changes to the suspension whatsoever. It has a tendency to level itself out in flight, so if you're going in, with your nose up high, it'll bring itself back down and generally have a pretty trouble-free landing. It did bottom out a little bit more than I would have liked, but that can be adjusted with suspension tuning. All in all, for a very low-cost RTR buggy, this thing was handling great. The only thing really holding it back in the performance department was the choice of tires. And that's specifically on this hard-packed, dry surface with a little bit of a loose layer in the corners. This tire tread pattern is just not made for these conditions, nor is the set that comes on the XTM XT2E. As I mentioned before, it's also a little bit of a hard compound, so it's going to last a long time but not give you optimal grip. These tires will do best in loose gravel, on really loamy dirt, and on grass. But what about durability? I didn't get a lot of the chills and spills on video, but I did get in quite a number of uh, crashes <clears throat> off of some of these big jumps, just the normal stuff that 8th scale buggies do get subjected to in their normal use. Nothing broke. The only problem I encountered was with some of the screws backing out, especially on the underside of the chassis. Like with most RTR vehicles, when you first get it, you want to check all of your screws and anything that doesn't have Loctite on it should be removed, cleaned, and locked down properly. I had no issues with the stock electronics, including the cheaper radio system that this PRP buggy came with, and after a full charge of hard running on the track, the motor was under 145 degrees Fahrenheit. You can find the PRP branded buggy online for under 300 bucks shipped. The XTM version with its better equipment generally sells for 300 to 350, but I once saw it on sale for just 200. So that's it for this review. I hope it had some good information in it for you. Hope to see you on the friendly forums at ultimatercom
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.